Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. I've got an awesome new video for you today. We're gonna to be talking vase for one 2.1. So if there's ever a video to watch all the way through, this would be the one. I, I know a lot of people like to skip right, right to the workflow, but this model is a little bit different and much more intricate than any video model that we've gotten so far. Um, there's a lot of intricacies that you kind of won't understand just by looking at the workflow. So I really recommend watching this whole video. The other thing, this is brand new, just coming out. I'm, I'm releasing it with like the latest that we know today, but I guarantee you tomorrow the model is going to change. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing longer videos like I have done in the past where I kind of try to teach you everything about the model, I'm going to do a series of short videos where we kind of build on each other to eventually get the best quality that we possibly can. So what you see today might not be the top quality, but I already have some ways to improve quality. And what I'm planning to do is release more smaller videos that build on each other so that we can eventually see our quality improve as we see improvements to the model. Let's open up the workflow if you head to the description there's a link in the description it'll bring you to my completely 100 percent free public patreon click on the workflow okay and let's drag it into our environment all right so so you're gonna see this workflow pop up um, the first thing we want to do is head to the vase well actually the very first thing i have a message here if you haven't used one 2.1 before this relies heavily on one 2.1 so go to this link watch the video if you have not already and that'll walk you 100 percent through how to set up one 2.1 if you've already got that set up we can head to the next step go to the link here and you're going to want to find the vase 1.3 preview okay so download that and then you're gonna want to put it in the comfy ui models diffusion models folder okay so if we look at my comfy ui models diffusion models so you can put it anywhere in this folder i have a subfolder called lawn and you can see my vase model is right there. So this works in tandem with the WAN 1.3B model. This is just 1.3B. There are, it's on the roadmap to release the 14B model. So what you see here, like I said at the beginning, may not be the best quality, but it is super fast. So um, great for prototyping and there are already ways to improve it like i said i'll be re releasing those in a future video so hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified when those improvements come very soon okay so now that we have our model here you'll have to refresh the page and when you refresh you'll be able to load that model file into this one video vase model select okay so when I was doing my testing with this workflow, I saw a under 24 gigabytes of VRAM used. If you want to decrease that even more, just change the quantization to FP8 for both the model loader and the text encoder. That will that should get you under prob probably under 12 gigabytes, honestly. Okay, so now let's dive into what vase actually does. So this is essentially a reference image to video. So you can put a reference image in. So like, for example, with this dancer, you can put uh, you could put like a another woman in here. And it do they don't have to be in the same exact first pose like a lot of our other video models up to now. You can just have her in any pose and then it'll follow the reference video. I'm gonna start with just reference image here. Let's start with this image. What we're going to do is make sure these background removers are on. We're essentially just gonna remove the background of this image, put it onto a white background because that's a super important piece of vase. For all of these reference images, you want them against the white background. And then that's gonna be passed up into our wand video vase and code. 
we're not going to be using the input video for this one. We're just going to start off with the simplest, simplest method. You could take this off, but since we bypassed that group and that input is optional, it's just not going to use the, the input video. All right. So we have the ref image, ref image coming in. Make sure your width and height down here are set correctly for landscape or portrait. And then you can play with the steps here. Um, I haven't seen a major increase past like 30 steps. And then the last thing is the TCAST, SLG, and zero star settings. Um, these I've found are what work best for me, but feel free to play around with them and see if you can get a better output. Let's just have this woman, a woman walking next to a pool. So this is going to remove the background, put it onto a white background, and then it'll generate a video of that woman walking near a pool without us having to do anything else. All right, so there you can see the woman put against the white background. So there you can see we never posed our, our character or put them in this scene with water. We just used the reference image and a prompt and we ended up with this woman walking by water. Now, I know a lot of you will probably complain about the quality and I understand the quality isn't great. But like I said, in this upcoming week, I'll release a bunch of a bunch of different ways to see improvements in the quality. Okay, now I want to show you so I just generated a couple of AI images with flux and I put them into photo P which is similar to Photoshop. And I removed the backgrounds manually and positioned the characters how I wanted them. And then I'll show you now how the reference image kind of takes the position of where the where your subjects are, and it kind of keeps them in the resulting video. So we want to make sure that your items or, or reference subjects in specific places. It's better to do something like this, like use Photoshop or Photo P to position your subjects and then bring them into Comfy UI. So now let's just put a prompt, um, a king and a dog sitting in a, thr a castle throne room. All right, so there you go. Really cool generation on this, honestly. Um, you can see the dog, the dog actually pants in the in the video. You can kind of see his tongue moving, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, you know, we get some blurring. There's a lot of ways to to improve this. And in this upcoming week, I will be sharing some more ways to do that. So now we've done reference video or we've done reference image, but we can also use a, a driving video along with a reference image, again, not needing to care too much about the pose. And we will get an, an output that uses the reference image in place of the original subject. So let's, let's try using this woman. And let's put her in place of this dancing woman. So I'm going to use depth anything for this. Because the subject of the original image is somewhat similar to the subject of the reference image. If I wanted to switch this woman into a guy or something like that, then I'd probably use dense pose or um, open pose. Although a note about open pose, I haven't found open pose to be great for for this. I, I've gotten much better results with dense pose and depth anything, but definitely play around with it. There's some other open pose type models out there um, that are not exactly the same as open pose that I've also seen people have pretty good results with. All right, so I'm gonna make this portrait. Okay, and then I'm actually going to pad the image slightly as well because it does help to have your your reference image about the same size as the original image. So I'm gonna add some padding on the on all sides of the image so that we try to make the reference person a little bit smaller to match how small the person is in the input video. Okay, so I'm gonna add maybe, this is a 640 by 720 image. I'm thinking I'm gonna add like 200 padding on each side. 
And then the last thing I want to do is set my number of frames to drive off of the load video instead of off of just a, a constant number of frames. Okay, so this will remove the background. Here, I'll just run it and, I'll, and then I'll explain. Okay, so we removed the background, we added some padding, and then we resized the image to 480 by 832. So this makes the woman a little bit closer in size to the input video. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is create a prompt. So I'm gonna say a woman in a, a woman wearing a tie, tie dye dress dancing. All right, so not a great generation there. I mean, you can see it it did keep the reference image, but it's it's blurry and um it it warps a little bit again, there's ways to improve the quality here. This is kind of just a proof of concept video, and in the upcoming week, I'll show you how to improve the quality of these generations. but you can see obviously it did keep the reference image. The, the dress is like almost exactly the same with the yellow stripe and the and the red stripe and even that purple and blue on the left side came in really well. Okay, so that is it for this video. Like I said, this is brand new. We are we're going to see a ton of improvement. The 14B model hasn't even come out yet and we've we're already seeing really cool results subscribe so that you can get all of the latest updates for this model this is going to quickly become the new normal beyond just quality improvements there's a ton of really cool tricks that you can do with this that i'm also going to share with all of you if you have any trouble getting this working head over to the discord but please please if you haven't watched the video all the way through please watch the video all the way through before asking questions I want to help all of you with your complex issues and if there are issues that are easily answered by watching the video then it sucks up both of our time inefficiently right i want to help you with the difficult things not things that i've already answered in the video okay um follow my patreon follow my other socials anywhere that you can give me some more visibility really helps me out i appreciate all of you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video